A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 13th Feb. On the front page you have Supreme Court holds Rao guilty of contempt. So this is former CBI interim director and CBI's legal counsel. He has been fined and punished by the Supreme Court. Supreme Court had earlier we have discussed stated that how did he take significant decisions when he had been barred from doing so. So the case of Alukumar Verma being removed from the post of CBI director was being heard by the Supreme Court. So in the meantime, the interim director, M. Nageshwar Rao, was appointed by the government and the C Supreme Court said that he should not take any significant you know, policy decisions, any major decisions. But he, you know, he had uh, transferred the joint director, A.K. Sharma, who was investigating the Bihar shelter home case. So he was transferred from the investigating agency. So this is a significant decision taken. So on this, Supreme Court has held him guilty of contempt and has fined and punished him. Then this is Rafael deal not to not on better terms than UPA era offer. So this is again, you know, the coverage on how the key findings of the three domain experts on the Indian negotiating team shows what is uh, you know, the UPA era offer which was given on Rafael deal. So the deal which was finally cracked was not on better terms than that. On page 6 you have secretary's panel to look into demands of people of Kargil. So this we have already discussed earlier that how in Kargil there are protests going on that they are demanding that the capital of <coughs> Ladakh, the newly formed third division of Jammu and Kashmir the capital is Leh and the offices, the government offices and IGP offices, divisional commissioner offices would be shifted to Leh. But Kargil, which falls in the Dark itself, say that the people here are demanding that the office should be there in Kargil as well as in Leh on rotational basis. So this demand will be looked into now. On page 7, you have India Inc.'s contract for 72,000 assault rifles. So, these have been purchased from a US firm. So, it will deliver the arms in 12 months. Then below you have AMU issue referred to constitution bench. So, this is Aligarh Muslim University issue. So, it has been referred to a 7-judge constitutional bench. So, the issue is regarding minority status for Aligarh Muslim University. So, this is been looked into by the Supreme Court bench now. So in 1967, a constitutional bench judgment said that AMU was not established by Muslims. So it was not given, uh, you know, the minority status. In April 2016, even the Allahabad High Court's order of 2006, which denied minority status, was went in appeal, but NDA government backed out of this appeal to the Allahabad High Court. So now the Supreme Court is hearing the case and it is referring the case to a larger bench. The seven judge bench would look into the question of minority status. On the editorial page, the first editorial is Deadly Brew. So this is regarding the Hooch tragedy which has occurred in UP. More than 100 people have died uh, drinking this illicit liquor. So the editorial says a multi-pronged plan is needed to prevent the sale and consumption of toxic alcohol. So many such Hooch tragedies have happened in the country earlier too with huge disaster tolls. Then next is aging revolution. So this is regarding the Iranian revolution which, uh, whose anniversary was celebrated. The 40th anniversary of this Islamic revolution was celebrated presently. So it says the Iranian regime must rethink its approach to dissent and personal freedoms. So there needs to be freedom provided to the population here too. So that is argued in this editorial. The lead article is the shape of the jobs crisis. So this is regarding the unemployment as such. It says that India has no industrial policy or employment strategy to ride the wave of demographic dividend. So we have a demographic dividend. We have a huge population in working age group, but then they should get the employment. So there needs to be policy in place. And this is a case for common sense. So this is regarding how Biodiversity and natural resources are governed and there is a need to review this approach. On the op page you have this interview of Helen Hobbs which we have discussed yesterday. It was there in news. So this is regarding cholesterol lowering interventions, the genetic mutation in PCSK9 
जीन ऐसा सो दीज पी एस सी एस के नाइन इनहिबिटर्स एक्ट एज इम्पॉर्टेंट ड्रग्स टू लोअर कोलेस्ट्रॉल लेवल्स बैड कोलेस्ट्रॉल लेवल्स इंटरव्यू विथ हर and this is regarding iranian revolution you can skip it on page 10 you have iif clarifies on guarantees so this is indian air force which is clarifying that no sovereign guarantees are there in other deals too like russian s400 deal also does not have sovereign guarantees so this justification clarification is given then this is minister promises to get tiktok ban so this such demands have been made earlier too and such assurances given so tiktok which is a popular mobile app that allows users to shoot and share 15 second videos with lip sync so this is actually now proposed to be banned so such demands are being made and this is india maldives reverse visa standoff So India and Maldives, as such, exchanged an agreement to facilitate visas for a travel between the two countries in a number of categories. So the bilateral standoff, which was seen between India and Maldives, has eased now. Then on page eleven, you have a full page coverage on the Rafale deal, the documents which have come, in, you know, in, into the access of uh, the Hindu newspaper. So this is eight page dissent note by three members of the Indian negotiating team on the new Rafale deal. and they say that it is how this deal has various lacunae and loopholes so that is the then there is no important news on the international page on business page you have 95% of registered realty firms have no fan so control and auditor general of india has say, said that income tax department has no mechanism to ensure all registered companies have fan and file return and this is regarding retail inflation it says retail inflation cools further to 2.05 in jan 2019 also iib growth subsidued in is reduced in december 2018 then there is no important news here and uh, there is no news coverage on the last page regarding tv subscriptions we have seen the tries new order of uh, allowing customers to select channels so here the deadline has been given so this is fine and even suboxone we have already discussed this issue earlier so regarding the patent which was there for suboxone but the doctor id has been allowed in usa to uh, to manufacture and sell sell the generic version of suboxone so the case was going on and the uh, judgment in usa was in favor of doctor id so now it will resume sale of suboxone so we have already covered this few days back So these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asr.com. So in the current affairs section here, the monthly compilations are also made available. Plus also daily news PDF is made available, so you can download this. Plus also the headline, the detailed current affairs video is also there, which is a separate course. The details of this course are provided here. So that is it. Thank you.